Yeah, it's simple. You get up at 5.30 in the morning, you run five miles and have a cup of coffee when you're done, then put this uniform on. Um, there's really no other science to it. It's not a science, rather a state of mind, a drive to be that kind of leader. Yeah, I know. You go down and there's a little walking trail down there. Yep. Even on the day he will become the 15th Sergeant Major of the Army, Dan Daly is doing PT with soldiers. But you know what I use to drive myself out of bed every morning is I do PT with soldiers. I always make a point to say I'm going to meet one of your soldiers or all of the soldiers um, for physical fitness training. So when I go to bed at night, I know there's at least one soldier in the Army that I can't let down tomorrow morning. What do you think about that? How's that for a philosophy? It's what soldiers want and expect. A leader who shows up. I remind leaders all the time that if you're not going um, to your place of duty every morning at 6 o'clock for physical fitness training and saluting the flag with your soldiers, well, then they're probably not doing it either. And the way you get them to do it is you have to leave from the front. And so this day starts like any other. I depressed. Yep, Miss Holly and Dakota. Comparatively speaking, it would be a marathon and not a five-mile run. At 1,300? Of course, uh, day-to-day activities of a Sergeant Major of the Army are very busy. One, two, the first leg is at Sergeant Major of the Army Chandler's retirement. At the Pentagon, the marathon continues with interviews. So I think the health of the force is, is good. And pictures. The halfway point is an office call and stroll in the halls of the Pentagon with the secretary. Amidst all that, he still finds time for a selfie. This is my goddaughter. And to share time with friends and family. Take note of the picture up here on the top left, though, too. And they didn't put that in there. They didn't put that in there since I was a Sergeant Major of the Army. I've been there for a while. You take each day like I did the first day I joined the Army. And I told people all I ever wanted to be was a soldier. Um, and do the best I could do. It's not long until the marathon becomes a jog, or perhaps a walk, as part of the official party for the swearing in. Our non-commissioned officers are the ones who touch our soldiers every single day. And they're the ones who make a difference in their lives. And so the Sergeant Major of the Army now is the one who represents them at the institutional level. And the reason I'm so proud to have Sergeant Major Daly here is because of what he represents. About to enter. Upon which I'm about to enter. So help me God. So help me God. By all accounts, I was just a poor average kid from northeastern Pennsylvania. So how does the middle of the road guy make it to this rank? Well, the answer is simple. It's leadership. Leadership from great soldiers, non-commissioned officers, and officers that I served with over the years. These are the people who make Army leaders. It is no less their achievement that Dan Daly is the 15th Sergeant Major of the Army. And at the finish line, becoming the Sergeant Major of the Army isn't just about this day. Rather, it's something he's been conditioned for his entire career. Lance Milstead, the Pentagon.